This video is intended to help data entry personnel better navigate the new MPRO portal for those facilities that are participating in the SNF collaboratives associated with MPRO. As MPRO navigates away from our former application housing the portal, which will no longer be supported, and into this new application, we thought this brief video would help, help those users better understand how to navigate the application, log in for the first time, and where to find everything. So without any further ado, let's jump right in and start navigating. For starters, every, everybody who is, has access rights to the portal will receive a username and a temporary password. We're navigating away from true usernames, as such as used in the last application, and you'll, it will now be an email address. The temporary password will be supplied by MPRO via email. We ask that you log in for the first time and change that immediately to something unique, your login. So we'll log in. Up here on the top right, you will see a space for your username or email address and your temporary password. I have already loaded mine in there. And then the, you just need to hit the little enter the portal door to load the application. And then once the application loads, I will say it's going to look a little bit different the first time you log in than subsequent logins. And by that I mean, I've already logged in and set this test account up. What will actually happen when you log in for the first time is you will go to your profile page. So the application should automatically take you to this profile page, which is where you can change your password. And we ask that you do please do that for security reasons. You'll enter your current password or your temporary password in the current password field. You'll enter your new password and then retype your password. And then when you are finished, you will enter, hit the green check mark. Always hit the green check mark to save your, your changes. And it will confirm. Now here I didn't change anything, so I get an error, but yours will confirm any changes. Please confirm that the rest of your information is also correct. Uh, most of these fields are locked out and can only be changed by an administrator to MPRO. So if anything looks off, please let us know and we will update that for you. And then the bottom part, you don't have to worry about too much. That really is just showing you what you have access to. Now this is a test account. There's a few more things in here than you would normally see, but you should have access as a facility granted to the facility group. If you're a hospital, to the hospital group. Now every time you're on a page and you want to go back to say the home page. This application is a little different. At the very top, there's a multicolored box. This is your show application window or essentially your menu. When you click this, you're going to get this pop up. And this is where all your navigation is performed in this application. So you have settings. There's two tabs up here at the top, the settings one, which you will go to on your first login automatically to update that password but on subsequent ones, it will not send you to your user profile. So that's the only option in here is your user profile. On subsequent entries, after you're logging in and changing your password and logging out of that session, the next time you log in, it should go right to this assessments tab in which there are four bars. We have information, active data submission, archive data, reports. Currently, the information bar is open, as you can see. There's only one icon here. You can click on that. That just provides a little information where you can send any questions, concerns, feedback, as always, SNF Portal Help Desk at mpro.org, and then the schedule of data submission so you know when to expect the next open portal period, which is coming soon for quarter three, 2019. Opens on November 1st. So again, I hit that menu button because that's all you can see here to go out of this or navigate the rest of the application. And you can see if we click the next bar, it's called active data submission. That is your data entry portal. So you'll go in here, there should only be one icon available and it is for the current quarter of submission. So for say on when the portal opens on November 1st, 2019, that will be the 2019 quarter three submission. So don't pay too much attention here, but you will see the active quarter of data you should sub be submitting. All you do is click on the icon. That will load the data entry page, which should look pretty similar, a little different, but the fields that you are going to be entering data in are exactly the same as from the last application. 
So you have your acuity measure, you're putting in your average daily census for your three months up here at the top. I have pre-populated everything just to speed this along. But you can see that uh, you can you can put in all different numbers in here. And these numbers in acuity will populate your denominators down in your, your quality measures, or quality 3A through 3C. So always keep that in mind. And then you have the transition measures where you're going to be entering numerators and denominators and the percent will automatically populate. So just to show you the difference, if I change the denominator, we should see our percentages change a little bit and we do. So that makes sense. Now, one thing that is new in this new application is we ask that you gather all of your data before coming to enter it because you cannot close out of this page or save partial progress. We thought about this a few different, doing this a few different ways, and we ultimately came to this conclusion because we do want to encourage accurate, complete data submissions, not partial submissions. So we decided that hopefully everybody would gather their data, go in in the allotted portal open time, and enter all of their data. Now it will, this application will actually provide various errors if I put a denominator that's too small and again green check mark saves and I try to save it it will tell me that the numerators may not exceed the denominator so it's kind of a little built-in check it will also tell me if I forget to fill in a, a field that it must provide a numeric value and a blank is not a numeric value so you can see that there so that will encourage more complete submissions now, for all facilities, we ask that you fill out the fields for Acuity 1A all the way down through the third month in this, on this form, it's June 2019, but all the way down through Quality Measure 3D. Now, there's also the sepsis program, but that's only for participating facilities. That means you have gone through the program, you have graduated, and you are now submitting your compliance values. So if you have not, completed the sepsis program, please do not enter anything in here. You can save this form if you do not enter anything in there. All my fields are complete, it's now saved. But if you are a facility that has completed the sepsis program, we ask that you report your compliance numbers. And I'll just go through real quick and enter some numbers so we can see what that looks like. So completely arbitrary numbers, I'm not going to put one in there. So I have every, I've entered all my numbers for my sepsis program, but I may have mistakenly missed the 3F numerator, so, but I, I would, maybe I missed it, but it will do that check. So I was able to submit this form without entering any data into the sepsis program section, but if you start to enter any data into the sepsis program section, it will flag you that it is necessary that you complete that section. So, once we do that, we'll fill in all our values. I can save without any error. And then at the very bottom, we do have a comments, feedback, notes section. Please fill this out if you have any feedback on the new portal. We'd like to know what you think about it, if you're running in it, into any issues. Same with your facility, if you're experiencing any successes or barriers, or just having have any feedback at all. We do read this. We utilize this in the collaborative to drive interventions and changes in quality improvements. So please do provide feedback if you have feedback. So that's it for the data entry. You may notice it's all on one scrolling page, which is nice. You don't have extra pages to click over to. But remember, this does not automatically save. You must go in and hit the green check mark. And all your data must be complete for the fields, either the top section or the top section and the sepsis program fields. So using the menu button again, we can go out and check out some of these other sections here. We have archive data, which is where you would see previous quarter data submissions. So say it was quarter three, 2019 that we just had our data for, we could see quarter two, quarter one, 2019, and so on back uh, for multiple quarters. So if you ever wanted to review what data you entered or was submitted via the application, you could go back and look at that. And then the final bar is reports. So once the portal closes, the analyst at MPRO downloads the data, cleans it, builds reports, supplements it with additional claims data. We will upload those reports for the facility 
back into this application, much like the previous portal, but it's a lot cleaner on the back end for us and should help expedite some things. But you'll see those if you click on the reports icon. It'll load, you'll get a field that will show you all of your reports you have. Now, unfortunately, I do not have any reports in, in this test facility, so I apologize for that, but you will see them all lined up here via icons. There are different views you can utilize, all sorts of things up here. So you can play around with that and maybe go to the next page if the reports start to pile up. But the most recent report should be near the top for ease. And really that is, that is everything within this application. So we've gone over logging in for the first time, logging in for subsequent entries, where to enter your data, where to find any information regarding upcoming data submission, you can look at your old archived data submissions, and then finally, where to find your reports for download. Once you're done within the portal, you can just exit out. Same way you came in, there's a little door here, but the arrow is now going outside the door. You log out, done. A Couple little things I'll just mention briefly. Once you submit your data, you can change that data if you find there was an error in the way you collected it, as long as the portal submission period has not ended, ended. If the portal has closed, there is no reopening the portal. That data will probably have already been downloaded. So if you find a major, in, major error, sorry, please contact SNF Portal Help Desk at mpro.org. We'll get you in contact with the analyst and they will help uh, address any concerns that you may have with your, with your values. Any other concerns outside of, uh, outside of that, Again, contact SNF Portal Help Desk. We will make sure that we get you to the correct person, get your questions answered immediately. And then last but not least, I just want to make mention that the communications team at MPRO has put together a wonderful user guide going over all the things I just highlighted within this video, but it talks about how to, how to log in for your first time, how to log in for subsequent, and how to navigate. So you always have these tools at your disposal especially for logging in the first time when you're getting acquainted with the new application. Thank you for listening. And please, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to SNF Portal Help Desk at mpro.org.